Hi guys, it's Miss Delito. Let's review how to multiply decimals. So the nice part when we're multiplying decimals is we do not need to worry about lining up those decimal points. I, I personally like to take the number with the most digits and put that first and then the number with the least amount of digits. So in our first example, 4 and 2 tenths times 6 and 33 hundredths, I'm going to start with 6 and 33 hundredths because there are more digits, there's 1, 2, 3 digits in that versus this one which only has 2. And we're going to multiply by 4 and 2 tenths. And again, we don't need to worry about lining up those decimal points so I can simply line up my digits. Now we can go through and we can multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 2 again is 6, 6 times 2 is 12. Now I just like to cross that out so we know we're finished. Now we're going to make sure we add our zero placeholder down here so that we can move over to our next digit. 3 times 4 is 12, carry the 1. 3 times 4 again is 12, plus 1 is 13, carry our 1. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 1, which is 25. Now that we've finished multiplying, we can add these two values together. So 6 plus 0 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 2 plus 3 is 5, 1 plus 5 is 6, and 2. Now comes the challenge of placing the decimal point where it belongs. And there's two ways that we can look at it, and we're going to look at both of them. The first method is you can count the number of digits after the decimal point in our original problem. So we have one number after the decimal point, two, three. If there are three numbers after the decimal point in our original problem, that means there need to be three numbers after the decimal point in our answer. So that would mean our answer would be 26.586. We're going to check this and use estimation to see that our decimal point is in fact in the right place. So 4 and 2 tenths is about 4, 6 and 33 hundredths is about 6. So about 4 times about 6 should be about 24. Our answer is about 24. If our decimal point was here, that would mean our answer would be about 2 or 3. And if our decimal point was here, that would mean that our answer would be about 265, 266. So we know our decimal point is in fact in the right place. So our answer is 26 and 586 thousandths. Let's try another example. And in this second example, we're multiplying a whole number by a decimal. The same thing applies. We still don't need to worry about lining up our decimal points. And I still want to take the number with the most digits and place that on top and multiply by the number with the least amount of digits. We can go ahead and multiply. 4 times 3 is 12, carry the 1. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Now we can go through and use our strategies. Since in our original problem there are only two numbers after the decimal point, in our answer there should be two numbers after the decimal point. Now we can use estimation to check this. So 3 is obviously 3. 2.44, 2 and 44 hundredths is about 2. So 3 times about 2 should be about 6. And we know that 7, it, 7 and 32 hundredths is close to 6. So we know our decimal point is in the right place. So 3 times 2 and 44 hundredths is 7 and 32 hundredths. 